Welcome back to another video. My name is Mark McGuire. In today's video, we have the highly anticipated rep, fitness, pepin, fast series, adjustable dumbbells, or better known in the garage gym community as the repins. First impressions, wow. I did the pre-order, sold my power blocks, and I've been waiting about six and a half months, I don't know, the end, towards the end of October, these showed up at my door. I took it out of the package and I was blown away just by the aesthetic of this, the all steel construction, everything that this has going for it. I'm gonna go over some things that I like, some things that I've noticed, just maybe to help you make a better informed decision if you are looking to purchase these. There's like a two month back order, I think, for them currently. There's not gonna be any any Black Friday sales coming up on them because of the high demand, so don't wait for that. But arguably, these are gonna be the creme de la creme, the, the top of the top, the, uh, the, the, the top shelf adjustable dumbbells uh, going forward. And they come in at a reasonable price because they, they teamed up with this smaller company out of Canada, that way they could mass produce them. Um, so the price is reasonable for what you get by the high, high quality, by the premium adjustable dumbbell you can get. I think they were $8.99 when I first got them, but I, I think they went up to $9.99, $1,000 uh, now. Uh, this is only the 85 pound version, but stick around because I actually think the 85 pound version is the best one to go with, at least for my strength level, and there is a way that I can increase it if I wanted to. Let's just jump into some, some different topics uh, regarding this rep pepin adjustable dumbbell, toss out the power blocks, sell them on marketplace, toss out the new bells, throw them in the trash, toss out the frickin' uh, iron masters. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Honestly, I'm gonna mention power blocks a couple times throughout this video because that's what I previously had and I really like them and I sold them way too premature because I've missed them for the past like six months and even now that I have these in house, I'm kinda like still reflecting on my experience with the power blocks, trying to compare these to them in a way um, because power blocks are great for a lot of people. So let's just jump right into it. So as you can see, we have the all metal construction. The handle weight is gonna be 10 pounds all the way up to 125 pounds. If you got the 125 pound version, for me, I got the 85 pound version. There's also a 105 pound version. So if you were to get the 85 pound version and then get 105s and expand up, you would have the same exact handle, same exact everything, same exact cradle. All you would get would be um, a couple more weight plates. So you don't have to buy a brand new dumbbell set. You can just work on your strength, get stronger and go from there. All metal construction, CNC cut weight plates. So whatever that means, I think it's just the precision of them, the rounded edges and things of that nature. Powder coat looks nice. Uh, one thing to note, this will definitely get scratched up. Extremely, extremely durable. I'm not gonna do some crazy drop test, but this thing, I'm more concerned with like the foundation of my floor because this is like super, super, super durable. Extremely durable, but super durable, so durable that it might be like too durable for some people if that makes sense at all because like I felt like my power blocks weren't as durable, but that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. I felt like they were a reasonable, <laughs> a reasonable amount of durability. Like, do you need this amount of durability when you're just exercising and doing some, some exercise movements? Probably not, but it's, it's good to have, especially with the adjustability aspect of it. You don't want these things to break. You want this to be like a lifetime investment, then yeah, let's do it. Go with the freaking rep times peppins. So extremely durable, not gonna worry about this breaking. These mechanisms seem like long lasting and I'm sure they have done millions on millions of reps and tests of this thing. It includes 2.5 pound micro plates uh, that can be added to, to get those in between incremental weight, weight increases, which is nice little slots in the handles and I'll do some b-roll to show you up close. Speaking of handles, we have the 34 inch diameter um, nickel plated volcano style knurled handle which is absolutely beautiful. It is honestly the perfect amount of knurl. It's the perfect thickness. 
where I can do some heavy rows and whatnot and feel good about my grip. It feels better when you're doing pushing movements, curls, all that stuff. And I like the fact that there's not too much width in between. So you can find that um, kind of perfect balance point. It's not like you're, you're working towards one end, one head of the dumbbell over the other. I mean, the compact nature of this, I'm pretty sure it's smaller than most dumbbells out there. Even doing overhead big chest press with the 85s, I can still get to the center. With the rubber hex dumbbells, you get to 50s, and it's like you're smacking the heads of the dumbbells together. This doesn't have that issue. Rubber hex dumbbell is way big. This compact, okay? And then it goes again from 10 to 125. Just takes up a small footprint. Back to the cradle design, uh, the length of that won't, won't change. So that's always gonna remain the same length. It's a little bit over in like 19 inches. So just consider that if you were gonna get a, like a certain type of stand or something. Even if you get the 85s, the back plate that keeps it in place is the only thing that slides and can move and can be adjusted. There's a little bit of like wiggle room in that so you can uh, adjust it, but it took me a, like a couple weeks to actually change it and find the right spot for my dumbbells to slide into like perfectly. It's got a nice long dovetail, so that helps with that. But for a while there, I was getting hung up on one. It would jam into the other plates and then it would get like stuck for a second. I would have to like hit it out. They say you don't need the cradle to like unrack and that's true, but these things aren't gonna remain like standing up. Like if, if I took it off and did like a drop set knot in the cradle, this thing isn't gonna stand up on its own and then it's just, I'm gonna have plates all over the floor and it's kind of a pain to kind of put back together. Like with the power blocks, it didn't matter. Those things obviously stood up on their own, obviously weren't going anywhere. So that was like a nice added bonus to the power blocks. These, they say you can do that, but I wouldn't, it would just be easier to, to rack it back into the cradle than to drop these on the floor and pick them up afterwards. That's, that's my point there. But um, I think a stand would be necessary. I'm looking forward to the rep stand to eventually come out. I want something like that where I can kind of step in between. For now, I'm gonna use a plyo box, but eventually I want an actual stand where the cradle can bolt into something and it's nice and secure. Without a stand, it's been tough to use for the past three weeks because I'm bending down, picking them up off the floor. So there's that. The magnetic pop pin works wonderful. Um, the only thing with me, it takes a while to get used to. Whether it be that the, the, the numbers aren't perfectly lined up with the little slots, but sometimes you just glide right over the place you wanna go. They don't like pop into place, so you get stuck in like 30 when you meant to go to 40. And then again, you gotta do it f four times total. It just takes some practice, I'm getting used to. The performance of these are absolutely amazing. You can do different types of exercises. I wouldn't hold the handle just for fear of like a couple times I held the handle and then I accidentally like hit the pop pin. So, okay, there's that. I accidentally hit the pop pin. So yeah, my point is I wouldn't hold the handles and do stuff. You can do that, uh, but do it at your own risk. When it comes to goblet squats, you could hold it like this. It's easier to do this when the little adder weights aren't in because those kind of dig into your hands. Without the adder weights, it's a lot more comfortable to do something like that. Power blocks, they get a bad rap because of these side rails. These ones are very nice. I don't have an issue with them. Now I'm like nervous that this side's gonna fall off. But if you want to do some like versatile, like switching hands halfway, above your head or whatever like people do with rubber hex dumbbells. These aren't, these aren't for that. I also like to do like devil presses off the floor, like do a push up and then stand up and do like a press. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that with these too often. I mean, they could take the beating. It's just they might not be as comfortable as say my power blocks were for doing that. Another cool thing about this, so I have two 85 pound dumbbells. With this design, the, to add weight, all you need is more plates. So say I wanted to do a heavy single arm row and I'm like maxing out at 85, I can just get my other dumbbell, add more weights onto that, and then I have a 105 pound single arm row or a 105 pound goblet squat or a 105 pound deadlift or something. 
So if you wanted to do some single arm work and you got the 85s, you can always add to that 85 to increase the weight for single arm work only though. I thought that was kind of cool. 85 pounds is like good. I can rep it out like we're for chest press and stuff, but um, I think I'm, I'm all set with going any higher than that. If I wanted to overload or do heavier weight, I'll just do some barbell exercises. But 85 pounds, this is a great deal. $1,000 right now on Rep's website. And that stand should be coming out in the near future, so look out for that as well. If you got power blocks and you're looking into these, they're a little bit different. Again, it's just like different quality, different material, the quick change, the, the pot pin over the, the plastic pin you pull out. It's just all those different things you gotta consider before you make this purchase. But honestly, I think this blows away the competition and is gonna be the, the best adjustable dumbbell. I can't wait to continue working on my gym, get the adjustable dumbbell stand and some other things that I have coming. Stay tuned for more videos. I just picked up a bunch of equipment from Fringe Sport, which has been really awesome. I, I'm loving uh, some of the stuff coming out of their company as well. Rep Fitness obviously doing major things. And then you have somebody like Michelo Fitness. I get their functional trainer and I just got their uh, weight stack, single stack, which is right behind me. I just finished putting that together today. So that's gonna be just like the Bells of Steel one. So I look forward to uh, doing a video on that in the near future as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Uh, follow for more Garage Gym uh, content like this. And thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.